speak. Amen. Why don't you tell me about the moment that changed you? Okay, start now. <laughs> Um, when I was about 10 years old, our family dog, Smoker, got into a uh, nest of wild rabbits and we brought the rabbits into the house hoping to be able to save them. And my sister and I took turns claiming which of the rabbits would be each of ours to take care of. And there was one of them that was beat up a lot more than the others and I knew that it would be harder to take care of that bunny that he'd need a lot more time and effort and I didn't know if he was going to make it. And I experienced a hesitation in my heart towards claiming that bunny to be my own, but I knew that he was mine to care for. And that's when I felt something come alive in my heart uh, to know that my heart was made to care for the most vulnerable. So as the years went on, I um, began to recognize this same movement in my heart towards vulnerable people. And I began studying university at a very liberal school in Canada. And when I got there, there was no pro-life group on campus. So with a group of friends, we talked about starting one. and. Again, I experienced a, a hesitation in my heart knowing that we were going to experience a lot of opposition. Um, but finally, one of my close friends said to me, if we don't do this, no one will. And I knew in that moment that, again, this was where my heart was being called to serve uh, the women on my campus and their unborn children who were in need of love and, and support. Thank you.